Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. And I thank each and every one of you for your, all of your likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your loving energy and your support. And I also want to let you know that I am using a Bluetooth earpiece device with a microphone. And I'm hoping that it, it makes an improvement on my audio. So please do comment below if you feel that the audio is sounding better than in previous videos. Okay, without further ado, let's get your messages. Show me the messages, please, for my Gemini. Show me a message for Gemini. Thank you, Spirit. You've got detox, cleanse, and restore yourself. Okay, um, this could be on many levels. This could be maybe you are doing some kind of cleanse. Um, I might as well just say it. Maybe a colon cleanse, intestinal cleanse, detoxing your body. Some of you may be feeling like that you may have some habits that you need to break, like smoking or whatever, that you want to detox your body, eating healthier maybe cutting down on the fat or the carbs or whatever it is. It feels like there is a regimen that you are getting into and it feels like a health regimen. For some of you, this could simply be detoxing your life in general, getting toxic people, toxic situations, toxic energies out of your energy field. Okay, take it how it resonates, switch it, reverse it as you see applicable. Okay, let's get a couple astrology cards. And let's weave this story together, shall we? Messages for my Geminis. Messages for my Geminis. It feels so good to be back to doing readings again. After having a week and a half off because of vacation. Okay, you, we have cancer. This is nourishment, nurturing, and protection. I feel the nurturing card very much so. That goes along with taking care of self and detoxing the body, detoxing the soul, the mind, the heart space. And we have Uranus. Radical change. So the Gemini that I feel like I'm connecting to, or Geminis, this could be, I'm not to say one person's going to resonate with this, feels like somebody is doing a radical change in their environment, internal and external. Okay. Let's see what's going on here, Gemini. So far, so good. So far, so good. Your reading's probably the best so far. Let's see. Cards seem to be ready because I always do a pre-shuffle beforehand. Okay, wow. That was a plop, wasn't it? Okay, we have the Page of Swords. Some of you may have had some kind of wake-up call or some kind of an epiphany. Maybe being forced to take a hard look at your habits this week. <clears throat> Ten of Swords, you might be recovering from something. Um, I feel like that there is a specific Gemini that I'm connecting to who may have been recovering from surgery. Okay. Surgery or some kind, I, I feel a very strong medical procedure that may have been a wake-up call that might be forcing a change, a, a radical change here. Okay, there's the tower in the reverse, rebuilding, recovering. There's a lot of recover energy, detoxing, you know, and, and you know, okay, as you know, I often scry and I've got a couple new crystal balls here. And I love the dragon energy. A Capricorn is speaking to me. And Capricorn ball energy is speaking to me and saying avoiding a disaster. 
I feel like I do not know what the situation is. But I feel like you have avoided a disaster, which is a wake up call to incorporate radical changes and taking care, better care of yourself, your health, all in all forms. Like I said, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. Okay. Um, the hanged man in the reverse. You recognize that you cannot put the changes off any longer. You may have suspended it. You may have put it off. You may have said, I'll start my diet tomorrow. I'll start this new habit tomorrow. I will quit smoking tomorrow. <clears throat> but the problem was tomorrow never came until something major happened that is forcing a radical change. And we have the sun in the reverse. Uh, you may not have been happy about this. Two of cups in the reverse. There might be some kind of emotional disruption. Some of you, this is an emotional change. Um, um, toxic relationship. But, uh, this, I, I'm feeling more that a majority it has to do with health related. Okay. That the sun is going to shine again. It is just not quite there yet. And this is showing me being no longer procrastinating, making the change to move towards the sun. The sun will eventually turn upright. But I feel that, you know, with reversals, reversals can be tricky. It's not always opposite. I just feel that in this instance here, my intuition tells me it's a little bit lesser degree of the full-blown energy of the sun, which is telling me like the beginning stages of starting the healing process to making that radical change. So we, what is this? Death underneath. Comment below if you had a really close call that you thought that you were going to leave this earth, which is re what is putting you into this radical change. Somebody may have had a very close call, a brush with death, whether it is clogged arteries, stroke, heart attack, uh, whatever. But it's whatever this is, it, or this could be somebody very close to you. Switch it, reverse it. If this is not exactly your story, but maybe it's a family member or significant other. Take it as it resonates, but somebody is being forced into radical change. I had a very close call, just barely avoided disaster. Okay, and seeing things in a different light now, a different perspective. There's no more excuses. There's no more, you cannot come up with excuses anymore of why I can't make the change today. Why? I'm going to wait to the tomorrow that never comes. Okay. Okay, show me this page of swords. I think that this is, this is information. The information that came forward... You know, the Ten of Swords upright can sometimes mean the ending or a death, you know, and with a tower, something sudden. Now, I think that something sudden happened, but there was a, like a, a near brush with death. Uh, I'd be curious if anybody had recently had a near death experience or this could be something coming up. This could be a little bit of a warning for somebody. Okay. But I'm feeling more this is history. That the energy is making the changes this week. Okay, show me this page of swords. Nine of cups in the reverse. So it was news that you did not want to hear. Unfavorable. 
ten of, show me ten of swords. King of wands in the reverse. So you feel like... <clears throat> so this is somebody who has no decision, no choice. Okay. Whoever this is, whether it's you or someone that you are dealing with, has absolutely no choice but to change. Okay. Tower in the reverse. The lovers. There you are in the reverse. Gemini energy right there at that center. You know, uh, that is that avoidance of a catastrophe. Avoidance of a tragedy or, you know, disaster. That is avoiding disaster. And the lovers in the reverse. Is it breakdown? I'd be curious how this relates to different people. Okay. Not feeling yourself. And I I don't feel that this is somebody you're dealing with. With most of you, this is you because that is your power card. Okay. That is your power card. That has avoided disaster. So, um, somebody's had a close call or will have a close call. And this hangman... In the reverse, Wheel of Fortune, making the change. This is screaming radical change. A total turnaround. Cannot put it off. Have no choice in putting off change. The time is now. And the sun in the reverse... Oh, you got two that come up? Princess of Cups, Knight of Wands. This is a new beginning, a new start. This is feeling love from others and people communicating. People may be reaching out to you, telling you how much they love you, how much they care. And it's a warm, a warm feeling that there is change that is being made. This is taking action. They keep pointing to the heart. My guides keep pointing to a heart condition. Uh, if this has not happened to you, you know, I'm not a doctor. I cannot say that you have a heart condition for sure or not. But if it's, if you have a history of blockages, high cholesterol, or family history of strokes and heart attacks, heart disease, Please make an appointment to go see your a doctor for a checkup. I'm feeling like preventative measures. So avoiding this may not actually happen, but there may be a doctor report that is saying this could happen if you don't make the change. So for some of you, something's already happened. Others of you, this is just a warning. That you're going to receive news. You're going to receive a warning from a doctor or something. That you need to heed that warning. That is requiring no more pro procrastination. Have no choice in the matter. Got to make the change. Got to take action and take care of yourself. Okay. See any significant dates here? I, got, I just got these astrology dice in today. Fuck me. We've got Gemini. And we've got a three. I have one more dice that I didn't roll. And they're telling me get it out anyhow. It is dealing with the planets. If I can figure out where I put. They're saying, why aren't you using all three dice? Because I don't want to. I 
it seriously. I thought I would just get dates and Gemini season three. Um, your own birth season may be playing an important role. Aha, uh -huh, Saturn. That's why they wanted me to bring a third dice out. Saturn is restrictions, regulations, guidelines, the rules. Okay. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. For entertainment purposes only, there could be restriction, blood flow restriction. Just saying. Just saying. Make the healthy choice. Did anybody have a triple bypass by chance? Comment below. I just saw a triple bypass. To release restrictions. And it is you, Gemini. It's not somebody else because that's your sign right there. Okay. Anyhow, I feel this is a very important week for Gemini. For a Gemini or maybe multiples. However this resonates. And yeah, very heavy energy. I do not see fatality. I do not see devastation. I see a wake-up call. Okay, I'm going to leave you there. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Love and light.